This DIY battery and fan is portable, easy to make, low powered, yet is powerful enough to cool any Sony mirrorless camera. A lot of new 4K cameras have issues with overheating, and this fan completely fixes that. It could even turn your new ZV-E1 vlogging camera into an all-day recording beast like the FX3 with its built-in fan. I've been using these fans on long video shoots like conferences for the last couple of years. Small 4K cameras like the Sony a6400 overheat a lot, and I've already created a video on how to make a simple fan to fix that. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cheap power supply for the fan that easily attaches to any camera via the shoe mount. Using this in conjunction with the fan should allow for a simple travel setup to shoot 4K video all day long. Let's start with the battery case. I had this free battery holder lying around in a parts box, but these can be bought online for a couple of pounds. The reason I'm using a free battery holder is that each battery is around 1.5 volts, and the fans run on power between 3.6 to 6.2 volts or so. This is why you can also use a USB power bank. The fans use very little power though, and we want the power supply to be as light as possible. Next I'm going to cut up this cheap USB extension cable. This is so I can easily attach and remove the fan, in case I want to use a different power source. If you're going to be wiring the batteries straight to the fans for a simpler device, you can just skip this step. The next part is quite fiddly, but you need to strip the wires and separate the four different wires inside. The power wires are the red and black ones. You can quickly touch the red and black wires to the battery pack to see if it works first. Next, clean up the cables a bit and connect the red cable to the red cable and the black to the black. Now I did this rather quickly and it's a bit messy, but with a bit of care and time you can solder the wires together and use plastic wire shrink wrap, or in my case electrical tape, to secure the cables together. I then super glued the USB port to the bottom of the battery pack, this is so it doesn't slide off with the lid on top. Now to attach it to the top of the camera, I had this cold shoe mount adapter with securing tripod rings on it. Parts like this are easy to find and can be quite cheap online. My main complaint about it is it's quite long and it means the battery pack is high up off the camera. Using different parts though, this could be easily changed and experimented with. Next I super glued the power supply to the rings on the shoe mount adapter. I had to be very careful not to get super glue anywhere near the camera, but I wanted to make sure the battery box was lined up with how I wanted it. I'm using the Sony a7C here, which has similar proportions to the ZV-E1, however the hot shoe mount is more of to the left. Attaching the fans may be a case of experimenting. Here I fashioned the wires in a way that lets the fans hang from the stem of the shoe adapter, but you could also use string. The main thing is that fans are close, but not stuck touching the back of the camera, and that they're relatively central. So that's pretty much it, but I'm sure there are so many ways you could set this up. Lots of experimentation to be had. Now I quickly did some napkin maths and using these three AAA batteries you can get 20 hours or even longer of power. So because I use a detachable cable, there are many ways to set this up. When I'm on a conference job, I'll use this fan setup which has another cold shoe mount on top so that I can attach a microphone. If you're wondering what the difference the fan makes, I did some tests a while ago with my Sony a7 IV. I had the USB cable plugged in charging, a HDMI cable out and a wireless connection to my phone via the Imaging Edge app. I only got around half an hour recording without the fan, but ran for many many hours with the fan. Recording at 60 frames a second in 4K, I got less than 5 minutes, but with the fan again I could record indefinitely. Ideally, the final form of this is like a 3D printed unit clips onto the back of the camera, much like the Fujifilm fan, and it would be a much cleaner design. I look forward to seeing what other homebrew devices get made by the community in the future. So that's all for today, hope you enjoyed the video, cheers!